Sean Strickland is the champion. Uh, this is one of his earlier fights. Um, he looks way more stiff here than he, he has in his recent fights. See, and this is, DDP can do this to Sean Strickland. Granted, this is a different tone from Sean Strickland. So Sean is so focused on going backwards and he's only punching. He's only punching. He's letting me punch into the body. He's keeping Sean Strickland guessing because Sean doesn't do well fighting going backwards. Sean Strickland's showing no uppercuts. He's showing no knees up the middle. It's nothing like ba-ba body shot, low kick, one-two high kick. It's, it's just basic boxing. In, in my opinion, when I'm watching this fight, if Sean comes out here and fights like this, I think we're going to have a new champion with DDP because DDP kind of moves like Jared. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. We got some fights for you. We're breaking down Jared versus Sean Strickland. Now, Sean Strickland is the world champion, and he is taking on DDP. And let's see how well he does in this fight. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and also hit the bell to know when we go live. Now, uh, Sean Strickland is the champion. Uh, this is one of his earlier fights. Um, I broke it down one of his other fights. I haven't seen this fight against him and uh, Jared. So I wanted to break this one down because I feel like Jared is pretty athletic. Does a good job at controlling distance, going to south of the orthodox, and doesn't isn't scared to mix it up. This is the first time I haven't seen uh, Strickland uh, move forward, but he's still in that Philly shell. Um, he looks way more stiff here than he, he has in his recent fights. Uh, like when he fought uh, Alex, when he fought uh, Izzy. Um, but still the same Philly shell style, um, reaching for that, that palm for that jab. Ooh, see already, I'm going to see the things that, uh, Jared does a good job of showing feints at the end, at the edge of the distance. So we know. We've always seen recently uh, Sean Strickland be the aggressor, right? So the ref, the void, we've always seen Sean Strickland be uh, the aggressor. What I mean by that is by crossing the void. That's why I feel like he beat uh, Izzy Adesanya and Izzy wasn't really able to get off his game. Now we see Jared who's at the edge of the void and he's showing all these feints. Feints, feints, feints. And he showed a feint to a late kick. Sean checked. He didn't throw it. He also showed a feint. Sean jabbed when his head went down so sean is doing a good job of controlling the distance and and watching and jerry's doing a good job of showing all these feints to see what's going to open up against sean strickland so definitely different change of tone uh with sean strickland to where we're used to see him going forward and causing and forcing the fight granted this is the first minute of the fight these are the things that i'm seeing already where i think jared's gonna move jared's probably faster than ddp on the feet Doing a good job of mixing it up inside. Nice. Definitely different tone from Sean Strickland than I've seen. Yeah, you see how you see. Sean keeps. We. Oh, it's a five round fight. Oh, I didn't know that. You see, and Jared's doing a great job right now. It's a battle. Like who's going to, who's going to expose himself across that void. Okay, here we go. Sean's trying to get his game going now. Mm. And see, this is the interesting thing about Sean is that he doesn't really engage in the clinch. Doesn't really change elevation. He doesn't change elevation. It's all on the feet. It's all on the Philly sh that, that Philly shell style where he stays there and he's just super calm. There's no elevation change really from Sean Strickland. It's uh, heads up high. What's going on, guys? This video is sponsored by Mando. The product was so amazing, I had to try it myself. Enjoy.
the absolutely amazing Mando bourbon leather, using it for when I'm taking a shower, lathering my body with its delicious bourbon leather soap suds. The nice bourbon notes that you get from the soap when it hits your body. It smells absolutely delicious. Then once I get out of the shower, I like to finish it off with a Mount Fiji. Their deodorant smells absolutely amazing. Now, these products control body order for 72 hours. Amazing product, right? Now, if you wanna give Mando a try, all you gotta do is go to shopmando.com and make sure you use my promo code MIGHTY, complete saving of 40% when you buy the starter pack to help you kick odors ass. Once again, that's shopmando.com, my promo code MIGHTY. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the content. And this is something, and see, this is where it's going to be in intriguing because, uh, what's his name? Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, pass his guard. Well, not pass his guard. Okay, body lock. Here it up. I like to see this. I like to see because I haven't seen all of Sean Strickland's fights, and I don't know if he has ever engaged in, you know, the the the, the scrambles, the wrestling scrambles. Okay, and see, he backs right up. Now he has to do it all over again, but maybe that's where he wants to be. Nice leg kick. Sean's so good about countering. But I feel he's best when he goes forward. That's when he that's when he thrives. That's when his like his just like his constant pressure and his constant like calmness is just like very, very high level. And see, right now, Jerry's just trying to find an opportunity to get in there. He's trying to get in there, pick away at him to try to keep him from moving. Nice. Okay, so if I had to give it a round two, I would probably give it to Jared because of constant pressure and mixing it up. I mean, Strickland did get him against the cage and worked a little bit, but nothing significant to really hurt him. Jared's just trying to have a hard time getting to Sean because Sean's constantly backing up and circling and trying to, you know, keep him at bay. Jared's doing a good job of showing different things, going from softball to orthodox, good head movement, punching the body, trying to come up. But since, you know, he almost has kind of like a, a Andrew Tate uh, standing tall like a tree, right? So if, but so I'm, I'm going to show what I mean by that. So he stands tall like a tree. So you have Jared, who's potentially shorter fighter. So you have this tree, right? So when the wind blows, he goes this way, right? When he's trying to escape, he, his head gets out of the way. But the thing that, uh, Sean Sugar leaves behind is his legs. He can't really check when his head's going backwards. So that's why Jared is being very successful with every single leg kick that he actually throws because Sean is backing up. He's running away from the fight because he's wanting to get his head hit. So let's see if he does it again. Okay, he hit him right that time with the right hand. And see, and and, and then when I when I sit here and I think about it, it's you can you can really 
beat Sean because if you are athletic enough and game enough to because right here watch so why isn't so this is obviously our earlier fight so right here what I'm thinking is that Jared's doing a good job of not biting on none of the feints he's being very patient about crossing the distance he waits there at the edge at the edge he waits here the void's very close he waits here he throws some punches he moves his head all around and then sean doesn't come forward if he did jared's not going to back up jared stays here and fights him and so that's why i don't know why because and when uh shirkin runs away he's kicking the legs because his legs stay there also if shirkin came forward it, it leaves him exposed for a takedown because he's standing straight up he's not this is not an athletic position Granted, he moves well, but I mean, if I if I said, okay, you guys are going to stand in this position, who's going to start off with a 40-yard dash? Who's going to win in this position? I'm going to go ahead and give it to him because he has a lower center of gravity and he's more in an athletic position to be able to capitalize. That's what I'm, that's what I, like, my gut's telling me right now. I was like, oh, sorry about that, guys. See, but it's, it's the same thing. It's nothing different. It's no... You're not gonna see one two body kick or or it's jab jab it's basically boxing from sean strickland it's it's a boxing match with some kicks and constant pressure that's like his approach there's no jab jab one two take down clinch elbow you know dump you off the side get you off balance it's it's the constant the boxing right you see now he's ready to box he's trying to go forward he goes to the edge of the distance throws a jab push kick he wants he wants jared to, to extend himself but see he, Jared just can't get to him like that constant pressure Jared and the hands in his face Sean is and then I think the reason why Sean's having a hard time getting his game going off because he's just boxing he's not like he's not throwing any body kicks to get him to lower his like let me get my I'm sure what I mean right here Okay, it's just pure boxing for a Strickland, right? And Jared's trying to get to him. He's trying to get there and trying to make beautiful leg kick. And he goes southpaw. Leg kick, perfect. See, and this is... So DDP can do this to Sean Strickland. Granted, this is a different tone from Sean Strickland. Um, they kick it nice, smart. Yep. He's keeping him. He's keeping Sean Strickland guessing because Sean doesn't do well fighting going backwards. But then again, Jared's not scared to cross that distance and try to get to him because he knows the only thing he has to worry about is, is punches. So when we get the void back, when they have a good void, I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that. Like all that head movement, he can get away with that. Good. Okay. Boom. So right here, this is this is the thing. And I think we're going to skip to the fourth or fifth round because I think it's going to be the same thing. So Sean is so focused on going backwards and he's only punching. He's only punching. He's not even punches to the body. He's throwing the only push kick. So Jared's legs have not been compromised. The head movement, he can do whatever he wants because Sean Strickland's showing no uppercuts. He's showing no knees up the middle. Sean Strickland's just only focused on boxing, which is what he typically does in all his fights. He just boxes and does a push kick and checks kicks. It's nothing like ba -ba, body shot, low kick, one, two, high kick. It's, it's just basic boxing, in, in my opinion, when I'm watching this fight. So that's why Jared is doing a good job of coming edge of distance, faking, Switches southpaw to orthodox. Sean jabs. He's exposed for his leg kick. He lands the leg kick. And he's not going forward. I don't know why, but maybe he's worried that the takedown's gonna come available. But that's this is the biggest thing I've seen. And, and if, if Sean comes out here and fights like this, I think we're gonna have a new champion with DDP because DDP kind of moves like Jared, but that but isn't explosive as Jared. And granted, like I said, this fight was a while ago. So, you know, obviously, right there, that, that cross landed because he's always backing up. And then he's second guessing himself. He's like, oh, oh, what am I gonna throw? See, and Jared's doing a good job staying right at the edge of the distance. Look, it's all punches, all punches, 
All punches. See? There's no body kick whatsoever. No body kick to force. If somebody has their hands up this high, that's a free body kick. You just throw it up there. It's either going to land or he's going to check it or he's going to take you down. So you got to... You got to start doing that because he's getting too comfortable in front of the distance because he, all he has to worry about is boxing. And he's waiting. He's waiting for him. He's waiting. He's waiting. And sometimes when you wait, you know, you can't make the, you can't make the best reaction because you're waiting. You're, you're, he's getting the jump. He's going first. You have to make split seconds. But once again, Jerry can go low because he's not showing anything up the middle. Okay, we're going to skip to the fourth round. We're not going to watch all, all this because Sean is uh, avoiding. We're probably going to go to the fifth round. I'm assuming the fourth, the third and fourth are going to be exactly the same thing. This is one championship. Sean Sugar probably get fined 20% yellow carded. <laughs> Okay, see, now he's doing a lot better going forward. But see, all Jerry needs to do is get right back in front. Get right back in front and make him second guess himself. Make him second guess his punches, his range. Nice overhand right. And this is where I think DDP can give him a hard time if he makes it a wrestling scrum because we haven't seen him like do a wrestling scramble like just put the pressure on him and just wrestle wrestle him Ooh, nice right hand see and it could be you know sean is having a hard time gauging uh the distance we're gonna write to the we're gonna we're gonna write to the fifth round because i'm sure it's the same exact same same thing so for the first two rounds i have jared up i'm assuming that the third and the fourth are the exact same thing so because it goes to the decision so i'm gonna see what goes on in the fifth round but we haven't, I haven't seen this demeanor from Sean Strickland before. So if DDP can get Sean Strickland second guessing himself and backing up, I think DDP beats him. So it's fifth round. Let's see if anything changes. Yep, see, Strickland's waiting for him. Still only punching. But see, it's 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 just boxing. Like I would love to see Sean Strickland just go not box. I, I want to see him keep doing mixed martial arts. But I think once he's ready to take do some boxing, I think he'll be very good at boxing. I think he'll be good. I mean, granted, I haven't seen him fight a, a true boxer, but he's so calm. He 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 loves staying in that Philly shell, which would be good for boxing. Okay, now he's trying to go forward. But see, Jerry's doing a good job of turning, not backing straight up. Which we knew when when we watched Sean Strickland versus uh okay. Yeah, see, this is what this is what Jerry's doing such a good job with. Okay, that was good. So already, uh, this is what if, like I said, this is one thing that Alex Pierre did very well against Sean Strickland, is that they're at the void. He's been going to the body. He's also been going to the head. He's also been kicking the legs. And the biggest thing he's doing different that the people who have been successful with Sean Strickland is he's circling. He's not going back straight. He's not backing straight up. He's circling so Sean Strickland can never get his constant pressure off that's what he's doing very well and he's also switched from southpaw to orthodox so that's what i think a ddp can uh use that rhythm against sean strickland i think he'll give him even more problems 
because look, he's not backing up. He's, he, he keeps on turning Sean. Turns him. Jabs to the body. Doesn't back straight up. He stays right at the edge of the void. One, two. Lands that cross. He blitzes across it. He's turning him. Turning him. Southpaw now. Jabs to the body. Look. Look. He's circling. 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 Keeps his back off the cage. Okay. Back straight up. But see, he doesn't follow up. He doesn't close the distance. He closes it. Now, leg kick. Jab to the body. One, two. One to the body. Two up top. Pushes him out of the range. One, one, two, lands. All right, now he's pushing forward. Now he's going jab to the body, jab to the head. Jab, another jab. He's closing the distance. So it's almost like if one, one, two, lands and he covers up in the shell. But see, Sean didn't follow up. Sean usually follows up, but he didn't. So he comes back to the edge of the void, goes down, starts looking. Jabs of the body. Okay, he's turning. Look, boom, he turns. See, and the best way for you guys out there, so it, it's very easy. I know I'm, I'm sound like a broken record. So you have this octagon shape, right? You have this, this shape. Each time somebody gets out to this area, if they back straight up, their back's going to the cage. If you get here and you start turning your opponent by just turning the angle, you get all this room to go again. And that's what he keeps on doing. Just watch his feet. Right? I was just watching and I'm like, yeah, he's turning each time. Watch. All right. He's in the middle of the octagon. Okay. Look. He's there. Turns. So the whole time they're fighting on that, they're fighting on the monster energy. Comes close. Strickland turns. Strickland for the kick. Okay. Oh, nice He's turning. Spin it back fist. And then he turns his back. Turns. See, the one biggest thing we have not seen in this fight is just the wrestling exchange. The wrestling grappling exchange, which, we, which we've seen DDP do it. But we've seen he kind of moves like DDP where he comes southpaw to orthodox. He moves very stocky, very... Jared's a lot more explosive on his feet than DDP is. And I think Jared's more dynamic at switching back and forth and going shot to the body, shot to the head. But I think... Uh, DDP can simulate that. But look, he just turned himself. He turned him. It's also DDP doesn't move as well as Jared is too. Look, he's going to turn himself. He's at the edge. Turns. He's turning himself. Uh-oh. Nice right overhand, right? See, that, if he would have thrown like that to begin with, if he would have did that, if he would have started with that type of, like, mixing up his shots with the heck, I think Sean Strickland is capable of doing it because he just did it there at the, at the after 25 minutes of fighting Jared. If he does that, it makes my, it makes your, it makes your opponent think like hey he threw a high kick okay he's throwing leg kicks okay he's throwing a push kick he's throwing jabs he's throwing jabs to the body oh he's actually gonna clinch oh he's gonna you you start adding more pieces to the puzzle when you do that right that's why i like mma I, that's why i like to break down mixed martial arts more than kickboxing muay thai even jujitsu gi jujitsu is a little bit different in my opinion because you can add more different things depending on how the person does but I think Jared won this fight. I think DDP can't simulate a lot of things that Jared does very well, which is going to the, at the edge of the void, switching from southpaw to orthodox. And also, 
not backing straight up, strain, staying right there and circling. Do not put your back against the cage, which is one of the things that Izzy did, uh, which gave Sean Strickland the opportunity just to box. But Sean just boxes. He doesn't do any knees up the middle, no flying knees, nothing crazy. Just basic boxing, one, two, two, three, one, one, two, Philly shell style. So it's going to be interesting to fight to see who's going to be able to execute their game plan. But you guys are going to come back for the final prediction to I give you guys who I think is going to win. So, boys, once again, thank you so much for uh, watching this breakdown. And we'll see you at the next one.